Hey guys, here we go. How are you? This is Deb with Art and Grace. I'm super excited to be here. This is the New Year New Beginnings event by Crafty Pete. We are here to build each other up. So there are some larger pages. There are some smaller pages that you may not know. So be sure and check out everybody today. You can always get inside the CCC group and follow everyone there. You can just refresh and get to see everybody in one place. So I hope that you are here with me. I'm going to kind of pull this up so I can see some comments. There we go. Hey guys, had a little trouble going live today. Just would not work. I had to exit out and kind of delete that app thing and reload it and... Here we are. I'm glad that we are working. Looks like everything's good. I hope you guys can hear me. Let me know. I don't have my mic on, so I hope that you can hear me. Hello, Marsha. Hi, uh, Trisha. Hello, Christy, Kim, Tanya. Glad y'all are here. Hey, Michelle. I feel a little frazzled. We have been to the doctor today. Today was the post-op surgery visit for my husband, so everything was looking good, and um, you know, just next step will be next Monday, but for those that know all about that, I won't go into the whole story, but yes, I'm glad y'all are here. This is my first time to be live in a little bit, so probably a little rusty, but we're going to do it just fine. Hey, Carol Ruth. Hey, Melissa. Hi, Mary. Hi, Tanya Turner and Deb. Sydney, hello. Hi, Debbie Dooley. Hey, Marie. Eddie Claire Reese. I'm glad y'all are here. And if you would help me get this out there, because I did send a quick telegram, but um, it was just so last minute. It was actually like after I was like, I went live or tried to go live, then did that, then came back. It was kind of a mess. Sorry, Tammy. I know I messed you up. I apologize. Um, but we're all good now. I think we're all here. Can y'all hear okay? Kind of watch. Thank you, Sherry. I appreciate you guys so much. Hi, Carol. I'm glad you did. I think we all need this, don't we? Like... The whole Christmas month was such a whirlwind, wasn't it? And, you know, here we are. Whether, like it or not, we're like almost mid-January. It's January 9th, I believe. And, um, you know, in one more week, we're in the middle of January. Isn't it weird? I just feel like Christmas flew by. Thank you guys for sprinkling. I'm so glad to be back, Kim. Glad y'all are here with me, too. That's what makes it fun. Yes, Christy, I will. We're actually, I think we may go live in there today. We're going to see. Yes, let's get going. Okay, so I have got a wood substrate. This is just a wooden canvas. You can get these at any craft store. So Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any art supply has them, Walmart, you know, uh, probably even Dollar Tree, although I haven't been there. You see, just an 8 by 10 substrate is what I'm going to use. Because if we have time, and I think we will, I may do some resin. I haven't even decided. You know, I just thought I would play it by ear. I don't want to rush. I want us to enjoy this and kind of take our time. So we'll see. It's not anything difficult. And if you've never painted, this is a great one for you to try. So don't say, I can't do it, or, oh, I wish I could paint. You can. I'm going to show you today just step by step. It'll be very easy. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Mitzi. Oh, thank you so much. It's so good to be home, you guys. Okay, so we've, we've got this. I have already done one coat of the multi-purpose sealer. I am going to put one more because I'd like to resin it if we have time. So let's just add one more together. And this, what this will do is seal our wood so that it will accept our paint better and the resin won't just soak down into the wood. And then if this turns out really pretty, like I hope it does, I'm going to frame it. So I will either find a frame that I've already got or maybe get one. Um, I need to find just an easy frame I can make myself because... I'm real bad about not framing my art. I've actually been doing really good on selling my art, so that's kind of why I usually just sell it instead. But um, but it would probably be really nice to frame it and then sell it too. So if you have any easy, easy ideas or easy frames, you know, I can make it myself. I just have never done it. Thank you guys. I'm so glad y'all are here. Hi Chris. Hi Elaine. Hi Trisha. Thank you Mitzi for sprinkling. You guys that are sprinkling, thank you so much. Like I said, I didn't 
quite get this out to everybody that I wanted to, so you know how that goes. I'm going to need the help. Yeah, Kim, let's do that. Let's let's even, we can do that in our VIP group, and um, and because I, I've built them before. It's just been so long. I haven't done woodwork in a very long time. Um, hold, please. I know y'all can see my messy area. Hold, please. Um, I was on this with my little chair. I know y'all can see my messy area. It's just going to have to be that way. We are not starting the new year all nice and organized like I would like to. Some things are organized really well, but... Oh, you can see. You can see my little paints are pretty organized. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Are you working today? Thank you, Mary Jo. I see y'all. Thank y'all so much for the stars. Thank you, Sandy, for sprinkling. Thank you, Milda, for sprinkling. I'm so glad, I'm so glad to be back live and just have y'all here. It is just amazing support. You guys have sent me the kindest messages. I love seeing the interaction on my posts that I, you know, I'll put something of me and Ron on there and y'all are just praying for us and thank you so much. Thank you, Christy. You guys are amazing. Thank you for sprinkling, Vicki. Hi, Ari. Glad you're here today. Thank you for sprinkling. Well, Marie, you just can't see that side. Actually, all of my glass is pretty organized. I just have a lot of stuff and not a lot of space. Isn't that the crafter's problem? We just have more stuff than we have space. Oh, were you, Judy? My mom lived in Euless 100 years ago. Aw. Yes, I know that area very well. A star's party. You guys know how to welcome me back. Thank you. I'm really happy my first day back gets to be with Tammy and Crafty Keep and, and her group. So if you're not in there, be sure that you do um, get in her group. I'm sure you're all a member. If you're not, what the heck? It's just, just Google, or not Google, but search CCC. So now we've got a nice base that's ready to take our paint and... Um, and our resin will not soak down into it when we get to that step, if we do. Hi, Mary, Ocean Breeze, and me. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, Kelly. So good to be here. Oh, you've got a lot of snow, Judy. We had a lot of rain today. So I didn't know. We drove to the, to the surgeon's office in pouring down rain. Oh, by the way, I think I said this to my VIP group. I, I said it somewhere. I said something like it was raining cats and dogs. Why do we say that? Somebody help me. Why do we say that? Where did that little saying come from? Oh, is it Michelle? Teresa, thank you. Started with rain and snow. Oh, well, did some of y'all have a snowy Christmas? I always think that would be so fun, but... I can't remember that happening here in Texas before. I'm sure it has, but 100 years ago. Okay, now remember, so easy. So we're just going to do some yellow. I've got a little white with it, so it has better coverage. So just yellow and white on my brush at the same time. Got a flat brush. We're just getting yellow and white. That white really helps it to have better coverage because it is so um, so translucent yellows are and the white will give it some opacity and we'll use I think this will work just fine we're gonna blend some things with it but I'm just gonna get this base coat on here I really only have to go about halfway down or so maybe a little bit more and we're going to do a, this was kind of my husband's idea. We've been doing a lot of talking lately because of all the things we're going through. And for those of you dealing with cancer or an, another illness of some type, um, you know, it really puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Like, forget sweating the small stuff. So, anyway, we've done a lot of talking about all the things lately. And... We were just talking about how life is 
peaks and valleys, hilltops, and then the, the valley times. You know, you're going to have both. You cannot escape life without it. So if we're in this world, we're going to have troubles. But we don't have to give in. We don't have to focus on them. We can overcome them. And we have so much hope, you know, especially for a believer like us. We have a strong faith, and so we have so much hope that no matter what, like no matter what, you know, we're going to be okay. And he's going to see us through. So anyway, I'm doing a little sunrise painting for you and showing you how easy it is so that you can do this too or teach your little kids or grandkids. And you know, it's, it's a good chance to relax because I think painting anything in nature, just like being in nature is super relaxing for me. So painting things that are things God created is another really relaxing thing. And nothing in nature is perfect. So your art doesn't have to be either. Thank you, Deborah. It's so good to be back. Tell you what, I miss you guys when I'm not live. Um, we have formed a really amazing community on the Art and Grace page, so I hope that you're following me there, and if you're not, please do. Um, I am hitting the follow button for all the crafters today that I don't already follow. There, It costs us nothing, right? It just costs nothing to be supportive and to show support. And so, um, you know, I would love for you to join us on my page anytime. We have a great time and we have great ladies. A few gentlemen. We have a few gentlemen, but mostly ladies. Okay, let me use my heat tool to kind of uh, get this a little bit dry. Oh, are you, Leanne? Well, I was a little concerned when it was so rainy today. I thought, oh, the internet, you know, but it is clear right now, so we're doing fine. Yes, isn't it, Teresa? Thank you, Trisha. Trisha went live for me. So did Jennifer with Home Sweet Create. So did um, oh, Sheila with uh, Simple, Simply Simple Creations by Sheila. Sorry, I don't know what, I, I sort of say, uh, I don't know what kind of brain this is, but I go blank on a live. Oh, really, Tammy? I was like, oh, they're going to see my big mess. Really, right behind me is the big mess, so I'll try to block it. But, you know, I'm kind of, I don't pretend to have it all together. I do not have it all together. And the ladies in the VIP group know that very well. So... If you don't have it together, let's see the little emoji raising the hand. You don't have to have it all together. We still love each other just how we are. Yes, we had some, I just appreciate them offering so much. They just messaged me and said, hey, I'd love to help you if you need it. So I said, yeah, that'd be great. And I was so ready to get back. But, you know, there'll be other times where I know I need to be with Ron and I will take others up because I did have a few others message um, offering help and I appreciate it. I do want to get out, so I've got this yellow going. I do want to get out a little bit of pink. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm going to put a little pink. You know, you're, if, if you guys travel, then you know, or if you just live somewhere that has beautiful sunrises and you have the like a big window to see it. But you know when you travel and you Maybe you're in the mountains or something and you see the most beautiful sunrise or sunset even. Um, sometimes they have all the colors. So I love painting. In fact, I've got one. Yeah, you can see that one barely right there with the oranges and the yellow. I love putting a lot of really pretty colors in mine. So I'm going to add in some pink here and just start streaking it across my sky. And then I'll grab some yellow and we'll kind of blend it in, okay? So I'm tapping off that paint because I don't want too, too much. Now I'm grabbing my yellow, same brush, and we're going to just kind of blend it in with what, what we have here on our board. 
Yeah, see, we got some others that don't have it all together. And we, we can be in that club together, you guys. Nothing wrong with that. that. I think it just means we try to do too much. You know, if we wanted to take a day or two or a week and get totally all organized and, you know, we could do it. But we're just, we're just going with it, right? We're just kind of doing the best we can and doing all the things. So just blend it back and forth till you like the look of it. Because as you know, they're all different. All these skies are, can be totally different. That's kind of how I like. I might even put just a touch of orange in here. Busy, busy. Yeah, and you know, I've got the hat that says hot mess, ex wait, um, what does it say? Coordinator, hot mess coordinator or something. Y'all know, you've seen it. I'm gonna put just a little bits of orange. Now you can totally blend and I could probably blend my pink and yellow together and get some orange, but why not just use what I have? I love these deco art paints, so I usually buy all the colors. But you can use the basics. You can use your primary colors and get your own if you want to. So there's kind of a pretty sky. I know we're going to have time to do resin. He is... Uh, Tammy, you probably need to read that. And I know, you know, you've been so sick, and I do think that, you know, you, I'm not trying to mother you. <laughs> no, you don't need that. But you burn the candle at both ends, my friend, and it's hard to stay well. Can y'all see? Good. I'm trying not to get this on my shirt. I'll fix that in one second if you can't. Thank you, Marsha. Vicki, good to see you. It's so good to be back with you guys. Thank you. This is a good event, so I'm glad y'all are here. Hey, Carrie, you try to keep organized? Carrie has great, you should post your room again. Um, she's got like bins and dresser, like a, not dresser, but I don't know what you call it. Shelves with bins and super organized. Uh, yes, you really, really do because you're of no good to anybody when you're flat on your back. And I always say, for me anyway, if I get too busy that I can't have my time with God, um, he's going to put me, he's going to let me go flat on my back so that I can. So I, I learned that a long time ago. You know, there's... There's no, uh, it's not good to be too busy, really. It really isn't. Okay, enough of that. I don't want to harp. Hi, Kathy. Thank you so much. It's so good. Burned one for Sonia's dad and one for your mom. Burned one. I bet a candle. I must, must have missed a comment. I'm just getting out a dark green. This is forest green I'm using. All the colors I'm using are deco art. I am a deco art affiliate because I love them, and um, they they just have great coverage. And when you get them on sale, you can get them for about a dollar, dollar five or ten for a bottle, two ounce bottle, and that's a great price. So I love them. Oh, Carrie, post that in the VIP group, would you? Or, um, you know, we could probably do a search and find it, but if you don't mind, Carrie, she is excellent. At, and anybody that is organized, we it's great to see how y'all do it. I think I'm going to grab a different brush. Oh, thank you, Mary. So sweet. Okay, we're going to take this green. I'm going to load up my brush and tip it into this. Uh, lime green also, and let's do let's do a valley here in the middle because that's kind of what I was talking about was peaks and valleys, right? So we like to go to Colorado, and there's a few towns that we'll drive through, and it is so amazing how they're down like the whole little town will be down in the valley. 
and I just think that is so cool. It just looks really neat. Of course, they usually are smaller towns, smaller communities, so I'm sure they're all super close and know everybody, and they know when a stranger comes into town, and I just always thought it'd be so fun to grow up somewhere like that. Now, they look, it looks really small. It almost looks like the old days, the old-fashioned days where, you know, got one schoolhouse and so all I've done, that is just so simple, is just get some green on here. Don't worry about it being perfect. I am kind of doing the edges, although this would be something I would want to frame. I don't ever just do, I don't ever just set this out being just a panel, so I would frame it, but something doesn't feel complete unless I do the edges. So just bringing that onto the edges. Thank you, Carrie. Aw, thank you, Shelly Ann. Um, let's see here. Add a little bit more of this light green up in here. Just touches. You could also grab your yellow and add some of that to make that light green. This dry. Yes. So has anybody ever lived in a little town like that? We lived in a town of maybe 2,500 max. Like that counts dogs and everything. Um, and it's a really cool way to raise your kids. If you can have a small town like that, it was really, really neat. No, this is my same one. I just reconfigure it every so often. I get so tired of the way it's set up, and so I try to find a, a better way with better lighting, and this is what I'm doing for now. It'll change again. Let's add some, like we're talking about mountains. Let's add some mountains. I think I'm going to do, I'm probably going to do purple or blue. I don't know. I think I'll do purple. I know, Carrie. So, um, I have a friend that lives in New York, and it's. she says that her town is exactly like a Hallmark movie, and she'll post pictures every now and then. And some of you probably know her, Marty Ammerman, because she is a supporter of several of, of um, you guys' craft pages. And But I love looking at her pictures when she posts them. We've been friends for many years. Okay, so we've got a purple just mixing my little turquoise blue and pink that I had out sitting here. Because I was thinking of doing the blue. Oh, I'm getting green in it. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just making it dark. And that's okay. Let's get some mountains going. And again, just using this same brush. And trying to kind of get that mountain shape. Let's have this one come in front. So these are kind of, this is just a colorful, whimsical painting. You don't have to make it perfect. And, but look how simple it is, right? If you want to take a lot of time and really perfect it, go for it, but you can just do some simple, whimsical paintings like these, and they're so relaxing, I promise, and I love colors. Colors make me happy. They lift my spirits, and who doesn't need that, so, but you can definitely make yours more realistic if you would like. And I'm just sticking with the same brush. Thank you, Linda. How are you today? I'm thinking about you guys a lot. Linda, did you get something in the mail for me? I am really need to sit down and be sure everybody's gotten everything. But I mailed you something, and I can't remember if it was before Christmas or after. Hope you got it. Population 2300. Yes, yes, isn't it cool? Now, listen, 
there are some things that are not, you know, the best about small towns. Like everybody knows your business and if you go to the store, in fact, one of the first times I went to the grocery store in our small town, uh, somebody said later, so did y'all have tacos tonight? And I said, how did you know we had tacos? And she's like, oh, so-and-so saw you at the grocery store. It was like a different person. And I was like, that, I thought that was the strangest thing I had ever heard of. Because we'd always lived in large cities, you know, before this. And so I just thought, what in the world? Somebody told her that they saw me at the grocery store and what I was buying? Uh, but anyway, the, the good usually outweighs the bad. Everybody gets really close and and would come together for you if you need it, you know. And everybody watches out for each other's kiddos and all that. So this one is kind of peeking out from the other two. And this is just our first coat. I'll do some more on top of it, so don't worry. Can tell it's mountains right hey Justin how are you brother I know Justin's gonna be on later we just hope that you'll that you'll not just show up for your favorites but that you'll come and just watch at least a little bit of everybody because this is called a build me up or build you up event where a lot of smaller pages do need some additional friends following them and helping them get out there so we're hoping that that some of the larger pages can help some of the smaller ones. Oh, that's really cool. Hi, Tita. Glad you're here. I know, right? Uh, I bet he could paint that beautifully if he hasn't already. Okay, so I'm going to, while this is kind of drying, I'm going to add a little bit of sun behind. Let's do maybe here. So we're gonna kind of build our sun. I need a little white. Oh, Grapevine is an awesome place. Now it's probably huge now, um, but it it definitely used to have a small field, didn't it? Adding a little white. Now remember, this is whimsical painting, not fine art. So you just want people to know that this is a sun right here, kind of peeking out. And what did I tell you? We're gonna fix our mountain. So if I get a little sun into the mountain, doesn't matter at all. Oh, I got purple on there. We'll fix it while we're here. I'll just cover that up a little bit. Very easy to stick my fingers in things. Okay, no problem, Tammy. I went to all the trouble to curl my hair earlier, and um, and it rained on us, and didn't have an umbrella. Who knows where the umbrella? Why does that happen? How come whenever you need an umbrella, you can't find it? So they were not in the car, so we got drenched. And I came home, pulled my hair back, said, forget that. Have to totally redo it. Now, I could have built my sun on here when I was doing the yellow, but I didn't. So, we're just adding a little sun peeking up. brush on. I, I wiped this off, so just what's left on my brush, we're going to kind of bring in some sun rays, and we'll bring some down, but I've got to finish up that mountain first. Grown way too much. Yeah, I know. You start getting traffic, and everywhere you go, there's a wait, and to get across town, it takes forever. Oh, 
Oh, Linda, I have to tell y'all a funny story. So our daughter has never given us an ounce of trouble. I mean, she's just been like unusually good and we're so grateful. Our son gave us a little trouble in high school. You know what I mean? Like, so um, one time, you know, it was kind of at that age where he's testing the limits and we're pulling the reins a little bit. And one time when he came home, I said, um, I got a call about where you were last night. And he said, like, from who? And I said, it doesn't matter. Everybody watches everybody and you know it, you know, so. Um, but you did not tell me you were going to that party. And he was like, uh, and I forget what he said now, but I totally just was bluffing. And he told me, you know. So, small towns are great because they actually, people will call and tell you things. You know, they we, we got to watch out for for our each other's kids, right? So, that's a good little trick. Just, just bluff. Have y'all ever done that to your teenagers? Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, I know. And that stinks. There's really hardly any place that looks like this. I feel like, you know, that all of our towns have built so many shopping malls and restaurants and it's making it convenient. But where's all that beautiful land, you know? And the poor animals are displaced and... Okay, let's add a little bit of pink in here because right here where the sun is, it's gonna be shining kind of down on our mountain so we can add some pink in here. I know I'm doing this upside down, so I'm trying to be somewhat careful with what I'm doing. Can y'all see that? So, I'd like to write on this, and I printed out my Bible verse because I didn't have it memorized, but this is the one I'm doing, Lamentations 3, 22 and 24, and I won't write the whole thing, I will paragraph, or uh, what's the word? Not paragraph, I will par paraphrase, I'll paraphrase, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases, His mercy, His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Is that not an excellent... Here, I'll let y'all screenshot it if you want to. Um, it's going to be backwards, isn't it? Is it backwards? It is. It's backwards. Well, I'll put it up. I'll put it up there so y'all will have it. But I'll probably just do his mercies are new every morning or something. But that seemed like, excuse me, a really good one for what we're going through and probably what many of you guys are going through. It could be just, you know, anything. It could be financial or kids or elderly parents. You know, it doesn't have to be a cancer thing. It can be all kind of things that we need. We need his help and new mercies every day. So now I'm going to start kind of doing some downward strokes on these mountains, almost as if the snow is melting or, excuse me, a little river is flowing. Your parents did too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have our ways, don't we, of catching them? Listen, they, they can't get anything past us because we did it. We tried it, right? So that's what we used to laugh about is, you know, especially my husband. He was the bad kid. Not bad, but, you know, he, he definitely tested things when he was young. So, um, you know, our son wasn't getting past anything past him.
and he turned out amazing. He has been such a great help to us through all of this and um, you know, going through things in the family like this are hard on the kiddos, no matter what age they are. But uh, it's it's maturing them. It's you know showing them that that not to take people for granted. So there's always lessons in the things that we go through. We know that. Okay. I am going to bring just a little bit of yellow in. I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm just adding a little yellow and probably a little less. Let's try a little bit less first. And so what I'm doing is just getting a little yellow on the tip of that brush and then we'll kind of do some little sun rays coming into the mountain here. And we can always soften them up if they're too bright but that's why I leave the purple on my brush. I don't clean my brush because then it just kind of mutes it. Let me show y'all that up close. Can you see that? Little hints in the, in the mountain from that sun. Yes, Mary, he has, a, he had emergency surgery, as you probably know, and has been diagnosed with colon cancer. So we are just in the very early stages of treatment and, and options and things like that. But he did have a pretty, pretty good surgery the other day. And um, so we, we, we will know more about treatment next week. He is still healing from the surgery itself. So, you guys, come along for the ride. I'm going to try not to, uh, you know, talk too much about it on my page. I don't want it to become about that or anything, but it's just fresh right now. So, um, you know, a lot of people are asking, and that's perfectly fine. We are not trying to hide anything from anybody. And, you know, hopefully we can be transparent and offer hope, you know, because we have lots of hope. We're not... We're not doom and gloom. We're not worried. We know God has us no matter what. And he's already, oh my goodness, y'all, the surgeon we got. We just, we prayed for him today just that God will bless his practice and bless the people that he touches because he was so great with us. And um, thank you guys. And so just the whole story of how we got him, I mean, it's all just, you know, amazing. But lots of hope, lots of hope. I'm whitening up this sun a little bit and then dragging those little rays. Just dragging that with my brush. I try to have a light touch. I don't want it to be too much. Let's see if y'all can see that. Thank you, Sydney. We sure feel it and appreciate it so, so much. You know, we really, when we were in the hospital for a week, really felt those prayers. My back did so good. Like, normally, that would be just detrimental. Oh, I got green on there. No, no. That would be detrimental to my back, but it I had the regular back pain, not the real, real, real bad pain that sometimes I get. So that was amazing. And I know so many go through so much worse too. So don't want to act like we're going through something unique. Okay, I'm pretty good with that. Let's see now. Oh, I know what I wanted to put. I wanted to put some sunflowers down here in the valley because that's one thing I've noticed. And honestly, I've noticed them at the top of mountains and down in the valleys, you know, but for me, this is kind of represent representative of um, there's going to be valleys, but there's going to be mountaintops. 
and you know if you travel and you've been on mountains and everything you'll see some flowers you've never seen before at the tops of those mountains it's like glorious right and the views but when you're in the valleys there are also flowers you just have to look and you'll find them so that's exactly right jess how are you today oh tamara thank you i mean it it's really quite amazing i think that um why did i get this on my brush oh i think i was going to just brush some lightness through here i was like why did i do that wherever the sun is you know there's going to be the brightest part so i am lightening it up kind of around that sun here okay now let's go back and add a little prettiness down here just giving it some I'm just using lime green with a little bit of the dark green on my brush that's it you guys this is a super easy painting I hope you'll try it don't think that this is something you can't do this is anyone can do your kids and grandkids can do it so just put on the little video again and watch what I do and pause it do it and then start it back up just adding some lightness to our grass. Now, let's do some sunflowers. Oh, and I do want to put a little more. Let's do some, take that purple color we have. Let's get a little clean white. Hi, Mary White. I think you're talking to somebody else, but how are you today? I'm going to take some of this also add a little more coming down off the mountains I'm looking in my iPad to see how that looks to you guys because sometimes it's hard to tell when I'm upside down like this but I like to kind of have it almost like things are running down Are you talking about this? Because this is just one of my paper palettes. I have them in my Etsy shop, and it's a certain kind of paper. It's thicker, and let me grab one. I'll show you. I I bet I have 75 of these that I start, and then when I would go live, I would always grab a fresh one, and I stopped doing it. I started just using the same one. Of, you can use this 100 times, you know, um, so you don't even have to buy a lot. They're just really... It's just a certain type of paper, and when it dries, you, you use it again. So I love them. And I used to buy them from a company, but their minimum order was ridiculous. So I would have to order, um, I think their minimum order is like $300 or something. So I'd order when I was ordering ceramics or something. Um, and then I just played around with how to make my own, what paper I needed, and what coating I needed and so now I'm making myself and sell them for basically cost I mean it's just I'm not ever gonna get rich on selling them, that's for sure but just kind of it started with really my VIP group want giving wanted them to have a way to get them if they wanted them and Etsy has been a good way to go okay still not loving my mountains Maybe I need a little more darkness in here. What do y'all think of the mountains? What does it need? It needs something. Just a touch of black in that purple. But see, we're at 245. This is what I was afraid of. That I was gonna take so long talking and painting. Darken up that corner. Hi, Brookie. How are you today? Hi, Luanna. Thank you. Create with tree 
That's me. What a cute name. So is your name, your name's not Tree. Is it Teresa? Let me know. I'm just adding a few little shadows in here with this dark color. Now let me see if I like it better. little bit of light back in here. Oh yeah, I got to make it from the sun. Let's do a few coming this way. How's that? Monica, how are you today? You guys, fill me in on you. Feel out of touch. Let's do some sunflowers and then... I don't know. I guess I'll do my writing. I may have to do it off camera, but we'll see. And brown, dark brown. My niece nickname is Tree. She's Teresa. Oh, you named your business after your niece. That's so sweet. What a sweet aunt. I do like the name Tree for Teresa. I've heard that before and I think it's super cute. Okay, gonna grab a little orange and yellow on my brush and we're gonna do some sunflowers. We'll do a few big ones and, and a few small ones, so. Just dip the brush in and get going. Time goes by so fast on these events. And I always think an hour, that's so long. How will I ever fill the time? And then it's never a problem. So there's our little petals. I'm gonna take some brown and I actually wanna get a tiny bit of black, just a dot. And I'm gonna kinda of dot around the brown for my center. Remember this is whimsical, so we just want people to know it's a sunflower or a flower. They don't even have to know it's a sunflower. And then a few, a few little black dots. Can y'all see that? Just a little whimsical flower. And then on to the next. My iPad froze. Oh, it's Elvis's birthday today. We watched Elvis the other night as a family. Um, my son came over. He doesn't live too far, about 20 minutes, and, and we all watched it together. It was the second time I've seen it. I really, it's hard to watch because it's just so sad what happens to people. And, um, and, you know, how many times have we seen that kind of story? It's and what happened to his mother and just, you know, everything. Really a sad story, but a good movie. Have y'all seen it? I have not seen Priscilla. Somebody let me know if you have, if it's good. But I love movies like that or documentaries, you know. I heard Tammy was talking about the, the one with the gypsy girl. I don't know her last name. And I've already binge watched that documentary or docu-series. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, did you, Christy? You would think that spending a week in the hospital, I would have watched a lot of movies, but I swear, y'all, I was busy. I feel like I should have some kind of nursing degree after that week. I learned a lot and did a lot. I don't know. I feel sorry for people that don't have someone to stay with them because nurses are too busy to do everything and to do what they used to do. So if you don't have somebody with you, man, it's hard. And our dog was all over him when we got home. She, it was like he had come back from the war. She was so happy. And she really hasn't let him out of her sight since. I do too, Jacqueline. I've always said that. It's so nice having everybody back in the nest. That's what I say. Okay. This is just one of my favorite detail brushes. It does the work for you guys. Um, I've got an Amazon list. So if you go to my website, it's probably the easiest way. Go to artgracepaint.com. And I think it's pinned at the bottom. Y'all can let me know if you see it. Um, but from there, there'll be a page that says my favorites. And then on that page, you can just click on the Amazon link and it'll take you to my favorite Amazon supplies. And so I've got these brushes and all kind of things that I use saved. This one, this flower here is not coming out right. It looks like a starfish. That is my fault. I don't know what I did there to try to save it here. But again, we just want people to realize it's a flower. I don't need it to be realistic. And then just dot around with our brown and our black. Joanne, thank you. How are you today? They are in, oh my goodness. And I don't know, I think I said to some of y'all that I was wondering how she was gonna, because she is a galloping horse. I mean, she's, a, it's a boxer dog. And so they have lots of energy and they want all over you if they love you. And I didn't know how she was gonna, how we were gonna. So when he came in, he was holding something, I think a blanket, yeah, it was a blanket. And we got him situated and had him hold a pillow. And she, it was like she knew. She didn't even, you know, really try to to do that. It's, you know, we, we kind of talked softer to her than normal. And she just seemed to sense it. They are so smart, aren't they? Thank you, Tana. Glad you are popping in. You can come in here as your business, my friend. I never mind. I know that there's like a lot of, sometimes people don't want you to. If you're on my page, I don't mind. Because how else are people going to know, you know, know who you are, get to know you. So, um, I don't mind. And today's event is about building up and helping other smaller pages. So if you're a smaller page and you'd like to be in this event, I recommend emailing Tammy with Crafty Peep. Just go to her page and you'll see all the things, all the links to all the places. And you can let her know you might want to be a part. Hi, Stephanie. How are you today? Thanks for popping in, girl. And I was going to do some smaller ones, and I kind of made them all pretty large. But we'll add a few smaller ones sprinkled in here.
that's right. You know, um, we all had help. There's nobody that's doing this that didn't have little shout outs and, you know, somebody that believed in them. And I love helping smaller pages. My page isn't even that big, but if I can help somebody, I'm happy to. I'm kind of, I kind of grow very slow. Maybe because it is painting instead of crafting. But that is okay. I've met the most amazing people doing this. And if I'd grown really fast, maybe I wouldn't know them. You know, I would just be so busy. Yes, exactly, Ann. <laughs> yes. Cataract surgery. Is that today? That was today. Oh, man. I did not have that on my calendar. My bad. I'm so sorry I didn't realize that. What is the recovery for that? And I'm sure some of y'all have been through it. Um, These may be more daisies than sunflowers. They're just a little dead flower, you know? Just a little semblance of a flower is all you really need. I will put our words probably up here and what I'll probably do is print them out and trace them on and then paint over the tracing so I'll do a short little you know I do like a reel to show some things sometimes um, oh I see somebody's needing prayer thank you Patty knee replacement oh thank you Angela so good to be here so so good to be here Okay, what does it need, you guys? Besides, hopefully we all kind of were reminded today that there are peaks, there are valleys, there are storms, but there is sun. Um, no matter how stormy and dark it gets, the sun is going to come out. Just like the sun, the sun will come out tomorrow. If it's not tomorrow, it'll be the next day or the next day, but it will come out, right? So we take it a day at a time. Don't buy trouble. That's what I keep trying to teach my kids. Don't get ahead. Don't Google. We're going to take it one day at a time. And that's how we have to take 2024. One day at a time. I love you guys so much. I cannot thank you enough for being here. I'm getting emotional. Um, you guys be sure and follow the next creator. And I have forgotten because it's new to me. Pickett's Craft. So Pickett's Craft is next. But you can go to the link in my description, click on that, and go. It'll just pop over to the CCC group and see her there. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the comments. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. Bye-bye.